Well, happy Friday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. We've made it just about at least through another work weekend. We are getting close to that big weekend. I'm here to update you on what's happening in the tropics. It's been another week where we were spared a direct hit from any tropical system. We have been fortunate so far for the season across Southeast Texas. Of course, we did have an area of low pressure roll right across the Gulf of Mexico pass just to our south, but it never actually became a tropical cyclone, but it did bring us a round of rain earlier in the week. So that system is gone, but we are still tracking a couple of things out there in the Atlantic. So let me go ahead and point out what we have going on. We'll first start off with Tropical Storm Sean. This is out in the east central Atlantic. And notice as we look at this tropical satellite, there's not really much to look at with Sean. It is very disorganized at this point. Drier air has been getting pulled into it. It's dealing with shear in the upper levels, kind of ripping it apart. So it is probably not going to survive for too much longer. It may hang on through parts of the weekend, but it is forecast to basically kind of fall apart as we go through the weekend. We've got another system to the south and east of that one. That is Invest 94L, and I'll talk about that one coming up in just a few minutes. However, at this point, Tropical Storm Sean is still out there. So let me talk about what it's doing right now. Movement to the west northwest at 12 miles per hour and maximum sustained winds are at 40 miles per hour. So it is a minimal tropical storm at this point, and it is forecast to weaken over the next 24 to 48 hours. So by Saturday afternoon, down to a depression, and it's going to lose some of those tropical characteristics as we go through the weekend, likely down to 30 mile per hour winds by Sunday afternoon. Then I think as we go into early next week, it's just going to fall apart. So I don't think we're going to have to worry about Sean reaching the Caribbean islands, and it certainly is not going to make it to our area. It's not going to push anywhere close to the Gulf because it will be long gone before then. But it is moving off to the west northwest, and we'll continue to monitor it. There's a small chance it may try to get a little strength, but most of the models are indicating that it's basically not really going to do much at all. As I mentioned earlier in the week, we did have an area of low pressure skirt across the Gulf of Mexico. We were concerned that maybe it could briefly become a tropical depression or tropical storm. That didn't happen. And now things are fairly quiet in the Gulf and in the Caribbean. We've just got one more system that we're monitoring in the Far East Atlantic. This is that tropical wave Invest 94L that I mentioned just a few minutes ago. So now it is in the red. You see that red X there that indicates where we do have that area of showers and storms right now. It's a pretty big area of convection or storm activity, but it's still fairly disorganized at this point. No well-defined center just yet. And that's why it is still a tropical wave and not a tropical depression, tropical storm or hurricane. So just a low chance over the next 48 hours that it would develop into a tropical system, but a high chance for this thing to develop over the next week, over the next seven days, an 80% chance that this could be our next name storm. And the next name on that list would be Tammy. So I think over the next week, we will likely have another tropical storm in the Atlantic, and that name would be Tropical Storm Tammy. Notice it is pushing off to the west northwest, and it is developing a little bit farther to the south than our last few systems. So that could potentially take it over the middle portion of the Lesser Antilles, and that could take it into the Eastern Caribbean. And of course, you know, if something gets into the Caribbean and it's moving west or west northwest, there's always a shot that it could possibly get into the Gulf of Mexico. So we are going to monitor Invest 94L very closely. Here are some of those computer model forecasts or computer model plots, our spaghetti models, all the different forecasts, and they are in pretty good agreement that Invest 94L will basically take this trajectory to the west, or west northwest and approach the lesser Antilles over the next week or so and we'll have to see just how strong it can get. Of course we still have some very warm water out there all around in the Gulf of Mexico. Temperatures still well in the 80s so super steamy water out there to support any systems that could get going. It's the same story for the Caribbean and for the Atlantic. Water temps are still very warm, so that's why we are still concerned that we could still have some action out there with these systems developing, even though we are less than two months away from the end of our hurricane season. 
Even if we didn't have anything else develop between now and the end of November, we've still had an active season already. 19 named storms, six hurricanes, three major hurricanes already. That puts us above average for the number of named storms and near average for the hurricanes and major hurricanes. In fact, we've already gone through just about every single name on this list that was put out for this hurricane season. Of course, we've made it to Sean, a very weak tropical storm in the east central Atlantic right now, and we very likely may have tropical storm Tammy in the Atlantic over the next week. After that, we've just got Vince and Whitney, and that's going to be it for the name that were supposed to be used for this season. So it has certainly been a busy season, even though we've been spared here locally across Houston and Southeast Texas. Nothing heading our way just yet, but still don't let your guard down because we've got to track it and watch it closely all the way through the end of hurricane season. And we've still got about another month and a half to go before we can say all clear, at least for this year. Then we'll have to worry about next year after we get a break over the winter and springtime. So for now, nothing heading our way, but just make sure that you stay alert for any possible changes. Of course, if we see something brewing or developing out there that could hit us or head our way, we will let you know. Make sure to grab our Fox 26 weather app. So many useful tools on there. Of course, you can track anything that pops up on radar. You can get all of your tropical alerts and much, much more. Our weather videos and lots of other fun, cool innovative, interesting things on there. All right, well, that will do it for your tropical update for this Friday. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a great weekend.